I hope it's okay with your permission, bro. I'm trademarking it and everything, but uh, I'm naming you instead of Paul Wayne. You're Paul Wayne, a.k.a. Paul of Duval. Welcome into Exo Primetime. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Thank you. And, yeah, I'm absolutely good with it. As long as they're talking about me, keep talking. <laughs> uh, I, I have heard it, and I agree with it. Uh, that's for sure. Now, listen, uh, we want to ask you a couple of things, you know, your band and what you do on the side and, and, and even okay. some charity work that you're doing. But how how uh, crazy has it been since you pulled the guitar out and, and played the anthem? It's really been a whirlwind. It, it started the uh, day before with the rehearsal and news for Jacks and all of that stuff. And uh, I found out today that I'm in USA Today, Guitar World Magazine. Nice. All Yeah, all kinds of stuff is going on. Uh, apparently, I've gone viral which I don't know if you're supposed to get medicine for that or something. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's just really been crazy. It's been great, man. I'm, I'm enjoying every second of it. Paul, the most important question, have they asked you back to perform the national anthem this Saturday yet? Not yet, but I have released it to the universe, and the universe has heard it. So we'll see what happens. Nice. Maybe you can come back and do America the Beautiful or something, even, even better. That'd be, be great. You so, know, I, I've, I've been thinking about this. I, as I was standing on the field, for the few minutes before I started playing and, and I was looking around at, at the audience and just an incredible crowd standing room only. I thought, you know, 47 years of learning how to play intricate things on a guitar all comes down to a minute and a half of playing one string at a time. <laughs> how ironic is this? You know? <laughs> hey, how, how did it come about, Paul? Like how, how did, how did you get together with Jackson? How did they find you? How, how did it work? Um, my wife and I run a foundation called guitars for kids, rising stars program. Uh, basically, we take donated instruments, uh, have them refurbished by uh, Jay Murphy from Murphy's Custom Guitars in Keystone Heights. And uh, we find kids who want to play music, and we give them the best first guitar a kid can get. Nice. So uh, one of the kids that we, we gave a guitar to, um, turns out his dad worked security there at the stadium, and he was talking to his coworkers about it. I happen to be in the studio recording with Chris Kellum of Blister, another great band out of Jacksonville, and uh, got an email asking me to send the rendition. We recorded it, sent it right then, and before I got home, they invited me to come play. Yeah, it, It's just awesome. That's We're talking with Paul of Duval, Paul Wayne, the guy you heard uh, masterfully perform the national anthem uh, under the lights Saturday night. All right, so I, I – how Duval are you? Born and bred? Are you a football fan or are you a Jaguar fan? I'm a, I'm a football fan. No, I'm not born and bred. I'm actually a Texas boy. I, okay. I come from Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, been out in Florida about six years, I think. So you might be rooting um, for TCU tonight then. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, TCU is an outstanding, outstanding facility. They, they, I've, I've worked there actually doing construction and working on air conditioners and stuff like that back in the day. It's, it's just a, it's home to me. So yeah, I'll pull for them. All right. So to the core, then, did you start growing your mullet when you got to Duval? Okay. How, how, okay. how long has that mullet been there? Okay. Here's uh, let me state for the record. It's not a mullet. It's a receding hairline. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because now, now, did you give it? Did you did you give it the name the skullet? Because that that also seems to be appropriate. Right. That's pretty good. I like that one, yeah. the skullet. That's <laughs> yeah. cool. Um, I've even had people calling me the new Joe Dirt. How about that? <laughs> Love it. Well, Paul, I'll tell you this. I had a couple buddies that were in the Bud Light zone, and apparently they were uh, saying hi to you and your wife and your family on your way in. I know, like you said, you know, you're still relatively new to the area, but for a guy who's been strumming at the guitar for decades, what did it mean for you to step out onto the fields, you know, a nationally televised game and perform on Saturday? It was actually just a, a dream come true. I mean, it's the kind of thing you dream about when you're in there trying to learn how to play a guitar. You, 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 you imagine a crowd screaming like that for you when you stop playing and that kind of thing. So it's just really a dream come true. Humbling, very, very humbling. I'll tell you. All right, they give you. Let's just say you're at a bar because you got to give your band and, and and let people know how they can find you. But you're at a bar and they say last song, uh, and it's it's the one that you that you love playing. What, what is that song? Uh, my band and I uh, end every show with Freebird. Okay. That's there all I needed go. to know. There you that's go. That's all I needed to know. Yeah. And that's yeah. the last call that will go on for several minutes. That's, that, that's smart. Yeah. That's extremely that's, smart on your part. That's the way to do it. Now, and we always, uh, throughout our shows, we always say, if you ever get in or on a vehicle and think for a half a second, maybe you shouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. It's okay to change your mind and come back in and ask for help. 
Yeah, so if there's something else I would like to promote. Yeah. That is smart, Paul. Uh, always drink responsibly. And he said in or on. That means on a bike, too. So right. That's so right. Be That's smart. Right. Uh, all right. Name of the band and uh, where they can find you. Okay. Uh, Duval County Line. If I could go ahead and give a shout out to my guys in the band. Yeah. I know they're listening right now. Jacob Smart, Travis Bryan, Mike Ham. Uh, What's up, dude? Listen to me. I'm on the radio. Um, <laughs> and, and now, uh, Duval County Line, the origin of the name. Is it Clay County, Nassau County, SJC? Uh, actually, a uh, founding member of the band. There's, there's been a lot of work to build this band over the years. And a founding member of the band, my brother, Mr. David Chucky Smart, the three-fingered phenom. Uh, I'm sorry, David Chucky Pratt. I've got Jacob on my mind. All right. Uh, um he he is just an awesome person. He came up with the name. Um, we were actually uh, headed to our first show, and uh, we we passed the county line sign. And he said, "Well, that's it. That's got to be it." Yeah. So it, it, it makes all the sense in the world to me. It really yeah. does. All right. Uh, where are you going to be playing? Oh, I have a steady gig every Tuesday at a place called Idle a While out in Crescent City. Mm-hmm. Beautiful venue on St. John's River. Oh yeah. Uh, I have a steady gig every Thursday at the Howling Wolf in Putnam Hall. Both of those are open mics. I host full band open mics. People can come play my custom guitars, come jam and have fun with us. Nice. Um, and we're all just all over. Also, we're going to be on uh, River City Live. Yeah, River City Live this Friday as a band playing some original music that I wrote. Well, I, I love it. Now, listen, we're going to keep this uh relationship open because we have a big hair heavy metal friday so someday we're going to get you to come in here and just uh, pull the guitar out and, and and play play one or two for us right on no problem i'd love to man all right paul awesome. you the man paul of duval thank you thank you thank you paul, thank you, thank you, paul. Thank you, paul.